Hey guys, welcome to treadmillreviews.com. I'm Raleigh, and today we are gonna be reviewing the Soul SB700 and the SB900 stationary bikes. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to our channel so that you can check out all of our latest videos. really similar in functionality and in build quality. They have many of the same features, but there are some things that are a little bit different, such as the pedals and the way that it uses resistance. Uh, we love these bikes because they are very simple, they're durable, and they have a smaller footprint. So they're gonna be great for those that are working out from home, uh, athletes who are looking for something to train on, and those that value simplicity. So let's dive in. Let's dive into the model overview of these two bikes. So they are very similar. The footprint is the same. They are 42 inches long, 21 inches wide, and then 40 inches tall. They both have a weight capacity of 300 pounds. The flywheel is the same weight at 48 pounds. The seats are both the same. They look the same, feel the same. They're um, padded and cushioned, and then they're also adjustable, um, both front and back, and then up and down. The frame on both bikes is the same. They're still steel and aluminum. The way that you move the bikes is you just lift up the back and then there's two wheels on the front of the bike to swivel it and move it wherever you need. There are some differences uh, between these two bikes. So number one is the actual weight of the bike. The SB700 weighs 141 pounds while the SB900 weighs 160 pounds. Also, the biggest difference that you're gonna find is the the resistance, the way that it uses resistance. The SB700 uses friction resistance, while the 900 uses silent magnetic resistance. So the friction resistance has two pads that go up against um, the flywheel in order to increase or decrease resistance, while the um, 900 uses magnetic resistance. So the 900 is completely silent. You won't hear any noise, which I'll show you in the performance section of this video. Um, and the friction resistant 700 does have a little bit of noise to it, but it's pretty minimal. Another difference you're gonna find is that on the SB900, it has two options for pedals. You can either slide in a regular tennis shoe and adjust it adjust the strap around it and then it also has the option to clip in with an SPD shoe clip. Um, while the SB700 does not have the clip-in option, uh, you can still use regular tennis shoes and adjust that strap accordingly. One other difference you're gonna find is the brake on the machines are different. So with the SB700, you just press down on the resistance in order to make it stop. While on the 700, it has a lever here that you can push down in order to uh, make it stop quickly. Let's get into the features and accessories of the Soul bikes. They both have tablet holders here at the top, so you can watch your own shows, listen to music, you can use third-party apps such as the Peloton or iFit app, but they will not connect through Bluetooth on these. Uh, but it does have a Bluetooth for a heart rate monitor, so if you have a wireless heart rate monitor, it will connect to the LCD display. The display is three inches by four inches. It's very basic. There's no onboarding workouts, um, nothing really fancy here. It's just gonna show you your basic um, speed, time, calories, RPM, um, your stats like that. There's also no fans or no speakers, um, but they do have cup holders here on both bikes. So these really are basic bikes. They're really great if you're training for something, um, you already have a training plan, you know what you're doing and you just wanna get on and get some good training in, then these are gonna be awesome bikes for you. Let's jump into the performance of the Soul bikes. So I'm gonna start on the SB700 and I'll show you the different resistance levels that it has, as well as the sound that the friction makes. So it is a little bit louder than the silent magnetic resistance on the SB900. Um, so you can see it's pretty quiet when I'm not, when the resistance is not high. And then as I start to increase, you'll hear a little bit more sound.
So another nice thing about the friction resistance is that it increases resistance so much that I can't even move it. <laughs> so even if I'm jumping on it, it's very resistant. So this is gonna be a great one for larger or heavier or stronger riders. Whether you're on the 700 or 900, the handrails are gonna be the same. They're steel, they're sturdy, they adjust forward and back, and then there's four different hand placements depending on where you want, where you feel comfortable. So now I'll go over to the SB900 to show you the resistance on this one. So this one has silent magnetic resistance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the resistance and let you listen. So as you can see, it's very silent. Can't hear anything. So if you are looking for a bike that's completely quiet for at home, this one might be a good option, but the friction resistance does just fine as well. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I'm Raleigh and this was the SB700 and SB900 stationary bikes. We love the simplicity, the durability, and the small footprint of these bikes. So they're gonna be great for if you're working out at home, you need a quiet bike. It's also gonna be great for athletes who are training for their outdoor races and anyone who just wants to get on and ride. For more information, check out our website, treadmillreviews.com. For current pricing, click that link below. And of course, please like and subscribe to our channel.